So the Creative Hub is exactly what it sounds like. It's kind of your one-stop shop to see how your ads are gonna actually appear. Um, so you can explore different ad formats and templates. Um, you can also see what ads will look like when they appear in all of the different placements. Um, you can also add teammates to work collaboratively on these different um, mock-ups. And then if you do create something that you like, um, you can also push those directly to the ads manager and actually use those ads that you've you know, established within the hub. So in order to get to the creative hub, once you're an ads manager, you're gonna scroll down on the left side of the page until you see creative hub. So once you actually get in here, you're gonna see any of the other ads that are being worked on within the creative hub that you're in. Um, and that might be, you know, none or one like we're seeing right here for this example but if you're working with a large group of people it might be um you know tons of different options for you to actually look for look through or choose from um and then as i mentioned you can also push to ads manager so you're going to do that just by toggling this quick little button right here so it's pretty easy um, to get that pushed into ads manager so the biggest thing that we're going to be doing here is actually creating mock-ups. So you're going to go ahead and hit the create mock-up button. Once we do that, it's going to bring us into this new ad creation. So there's a few things we're going to want to do here. The first thing is we're going to want to set a new ad name. The second thing, and this is incredibly important, you have to choose which Facebook page and which Instagram page you want these ads to actually be connected to. Um, so it is two options you need to choose. Um, I always triple check this part just because you can have your Facebook page one going to one destination and your Instagram account connected to another destination. Don't want that to happen. I have seen that happen before. Um, so you definitely want to make sure you're double checking this information right here. Um, next, you're going to assess your ad format. So either a single image or video or a carousel of either two or more scrollable images or videos. Next, you're going to actually go ahead and upload your media that you want for this. So in this case, I just choose I chose one single image. Um, when I actually go in to select the um, copy, it's going to have me crop it for the different types of display. Um, with that, it's always a great idea to have a few options of dimensions on your pictures and videos just to make sure you can cover as many placements as possible. Um, but you can also find information um, you know, within Facebook or Meta Ad support that gives you the actual ideal dimensions for these. So once you actually get that cropped in, you're gonna continue and you're gonna write your primary text, your headline and your description. Um, so your headline's exactly what it sounds like. This is going to be your main thing that they're gonna view. The primary text is gonna be where you can add a little bit more detail or context. And then finally, the description, this can even go a little bit further. However, it is important to note that the description will not be visible in all of the different placements. So I typically tend to focus my text more so towards primary text or the headline. Um, the description does get lost a little bit. So you wanna make sure you have all your good info in the primary text. And then finally, you're gonna pick your destination, either a website or a Facebook event. Um, you can have a different display link if you are using you know, some sort of shortened or tracking URL. And then you'll select your call to action. So it is important to note that depending on which call to action you actually choose, um, you may or may not be eligible for certain placements within the feeds. Um, typically learn more, that's kind of the easiest one and that is available across all of the different feeds. Um, so once you have all of that information entered, or even as you're entering it, you're gonna start to populate a bunch of different views of what your ads might look like in different placements. So as you can see, some of them are very small. Some of them are going to be more like videos and you know it kind of makes that for you. Other ones, um, it's going to be kind of like inline text. Um, so as I said, it's a ton of different options for um, 
placement using Meta Business Manager and Creative Hub. Um, so you can kind of preview and see what everything will actually look like once you, you know, get those all sorted out. And as you can see, some of them are only video. Um, so you, it will depend how many placements you'll actually see depending on that. So once you actually get that ad created, you're going to be able to go back into your creative hub and actually see that ad right there. Um, it duplicated as I was doing this, but once you want to push that into ads manager, you'll just show it in ads manager and actually get it into an account to enable it. Um, but this is a huge tool if you're looking to figure out what your ads are going to look like prior to actually deploying them. If you want to see which creative works best for which placements, um, there's a lot of things you can really do here to kind of add a little bit, um, more insight into your campaigns before actually launching them. So hopefully you found this video helpful today and are able to create new ads within the Creative Hub a little bit easier and with a little. We hope you liked and learned a lot during this video today and feel a little bit more comfortable using the Facebook Manager Creative Hub in order to create Facebook ads or Instagram ads. While you're here, grab a copy of our Facebook ads checklist and be sure to stay tuned for more Main Street ROI, digital tips, and videos.